Hi, this is Harry Forbes from ARC Advisory Group. My guest is Duncan Micklem, Executive Vice President, Yokogawa North America and KBC for Strategy and Marketing. Duncan, welcome to the ARC Forum. Thank you very much, Harry. It's a pleasure to be here. Duncan, uh, with both KBC and Yokogawa, there are certainly some disruptive technologies on the horizon. Can you give our viewers a little insight into what you guys see there and what you're working on? Absolutely, Harry. There's a plethora of disruptive technology hitting the market. Um, I think for our customers, it's quite difficult to navigate their way through it. Um, we have the Gartner hype cycle. There's a whole bunch of technology which is hitting the market, but very little that actually makes it into the mainstream. So, but one of the things that we really do see hitting the mainstream and making a really big impact is the digital twin. And for us, that digital twin is it's a virtual digital copy of a device, a system, a human, or a process that mimics actual performance. Uh, it's executable and can be manipulated. And it allows, what's most important is that it allows a better future to be developed. Okay, but Digital Twin applies to a, a wide variety of technologies. Can you tell us a little more about what you're, what you're developing and also how are, you de how are you partnering with your customers to develop it? Are you, are you developing a library yourself or what are you doing there? How is that working? So the, uh, there, there's a lot of uh, emphasis on the industry. When people think of Digital Twin, they think of a 3D CAD model. It's the first thing that comes to mind. Uh, what people don't realize is that this Digital Twin concept extends well beyond uh, just that 3D CAD model. Um, it's that virtual digital copy of the conditions of the fluids running through the pipes. It's looking at entire value chains um, looking at the performance of individual refinery units, but then scaling that up for a refinery-wide digital twin in terms of the molecules um, and how, those, how you balance feedstock supply with what's demanded in the market. Well, that sounds, that sounds very interesting, and, and you're applying it there to some real business values and value creation. Can you, can you give us a little more insight into how your customers are doing that? in terms of where they're finding um, value from operating these twins. What's really important, and I think even the theme for this event, the, the ARC Forum, which is around digital transformation um, in industries and cities, is what is it that our customers are trying to achieve? Um, because digital twins as part of digital transformation are just a vehicle for getting there. And that destination is unquestionably no safety incidents, no unplanned outages, nimble responses to um, disturbances and changes. It's a motivated and an informed workforce and a culture of profitability. That's really the value for the customer and what it is that they need to strive to achieve from digital twin and digital transformation. Can you talk about some of the uh, customers you've worked with or some of the success stories you've had with this, with this kind of approach? Sure. Um, in North America, we're working with a number of, of refiners. Um, our digital twin technology, um, well, Yokogawa has a lot of digital twin technologies, but specifically one of the examples is uh, taking a, a refinery unit and doing a, a real-time digital twin, uh, pulling data from DCS, historian, lab systems for uh, better feedstock selection and optimization of the unit, and then scaling that up to a refinery-wide twin. And then these digital twins, um, there's multiple different types of digital twins. Uh, twins of physical assets, twins of people, of processes, and the technologies themselves. And so when you put all that together, what you start to get is the concept of the remote operations center, the integrated production center. And we are working with a number of customers um, in the Middle East, in Russia, to develop these uh, remote operation centers which leverage digital twins so that customers start operating their facilities less as individual facilities and more as value chains. And so when you, when you focus on operations from a molecular level, uh, you drive better safety, reliability, and profitability. Okay, well, as you said, there's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, 
building that goes on in, in, a, in a project like this. And it, it seems to me that you could end up with a lot of upfront investment. What kind of ways are your customers building these and how are they financing these kind of developments? Sure. Um, some, some customers, depending on where they are in their digital maturity, the more mature ones, they are looking more for product and looking for off-the-shelf digital twins which they can uh, operationalize and implement. Um, others taking a different approach. Maybe there's more emphasis required in their business for improving their people and their processes. In that case, we are doing, uh, for example, profit improvement programs where we will build the digital twin ourselves that helps us to identify where those opportunities are and to capture those opportunities so that the digital twin gets built in the process of a consulting engagement mm -hmm. And then it can then be operationalized with real-time data and handed over to the customer if that's what they would like. So we have an example where we have been doing profit improvement programs that develops and generates a lot of profit for the customers. Uh, we're looking at tens of millions of dollars, in some cases, hundreds of millions of dollars. And then the customer then has a ready digital twin to continue that's handed over to the operations team to, to keep on sustaining those benefits. Well, that's, that's really interesting. And I'm wondering, as, this, as we kind of move into the future with this, what do you see in the future that's going to give a tailwind or a push to this kind of technology going forward? And so in, in five years, what's going to change that's going to help this technology be deployed more widely? I think it's, it's a changing of attitudes. Um, it's a realization that digital transformation is not this buzzword. Um, it is a realization that it is just that vehicle for achieving these outcomes, which are not new. The outcomes of no safety incidents, no unplanned outages, nimble response to changes and disturbances, motivated and informed workforce and a culture of profitability. I mean, those are unquestionable. Um, anchoring digital transformation to those outcomes and keeping reminding ourselves that that is what we're striving for, I believe that that will, will drive a, a real uptake uh, in digital twin. Duncan, thanks for being here. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Harry. My guest has been Duncan Micklem, Executive Vice President, Yokogawa North America and KBC. Thank you for watching.